Gentleman from Texas. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. When the uh, chairman of the committee opened up the committee today, he uh, suggested that we look uh, backward as well as forward and that all our problems didn't come from uh, January 20th on, and I, I agree with that. Matter of fact, uh, just looking back at the last administration isn't quite enough, and in order to understand the problems that we face and understand the cause, we'd have to look back possibly even uh, several decades. The debate today so much and the discussion has been on technical uh, aspects, which I think are very important, but uh, quite frankly, I think that deals a lot with the symptoms rather than the basic cause, and I'd like to deal more with the cause, so I have a question for the entire uh, panel. And the question, the question keys around this, uh, this, this, uh, this cause. Uh, right now, I think the Congress and the Treasury, as well as the Fed, operates on the condition that the free markets failed and we didn't have enough regulation. Others will say that we got into this mess because we've been living with a, 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 a condition of uh, crony corporatism, inflationism, and interventionism. We had inbred into this system a lot of moral hazard, which uh, encouraged a lot of risk and a lot of guarantees that we would have the lender of last resort, and we really didn't have to, to worry. And uh, it, it created, uh, once again, a phenomenon that's been known throughout history. It's called the madness of crowds, and that's certainly is it. That's nothing new, but there was certainly a lot of madness going in the, in the economy and in the marketplace. In the marketplace. But uh, the question really comes out, uh, who should allocate capital? Is it the free market or should it be government? And I think that we had a system where uh, the free market wasn't working. We didn't have capitalism. The allocation of capital came from uh, the direction of the Federal Reserve and a lot of rules and regulations by the uh, Congress. We had essentially no savings, and capital was supposed to come from savings, and we had artificially low interest rates. So looking at all that, then this means we'd have to look differently at what our solutions should be. Everybody loves the boom. That was great. Nobody questions all this. But when the bus comes, everybody hates it. And then they quickly have to decide what to do. Unfortunately, I, uh, I don't see that we're addressing the real, the real problems. We're not addressing, the, the, what we're dealing with is trying to find a victim. Who's going to soak up the derivatives? Who's going to soak up the debt? Who's going to be penalized? And right now, it looks like Wall Street's getting bailed out, and the little guy in the middle of Main Street America are all going to uh, pay, pay the uh, penalty. And uh, I, I think this is, uh, we're absolutely going in the wrong direction, whether it's AIG or the, or, or the rest. So we failed because we didn't follow the marketplace, and then we do the same thing over and over again. We don't seem to improve anything. So my question is this. How do the three of you operate in your own mind? Do you operate with the idea that capitalism failed and they need us more than ever before to solve these problems? Or do you say, no, there is some truth to this? Matter of fact, a lot of truth to it is that we brought this upon ourselves, that we had too much government, too much interference in interest rates, too much risk, uh, uh, moral risk built into the system. Because if you come from the viewpoint that says that uh, the market doesn't work, I can understand everything you do. But if I see that you've totally rejected the market, that you didn't, uh, and that we have to do something about it, I can understand why we in the Congress and you in Treasury and you in the Fed continue to do this. So where, where do you put the blame? On the market or on crony capitalism that we've been living with probably for three decades? Congressman, I certainly do not reject capitalism. I don't think this was a failure of capitalism per se. But, and I also think that free markets should be the primary mechanism for allocating capital. They've shown over many decades that, uh, that uh, they can allocate money to new enterprises, to new technologies very effectively. And so we want to maintain that free capital market uh, structure. It is nevertheless the case that we've seen over the decades and the centuries that financial systems can be prone to panics, runs, booms, busts. And for better or worse, we have developed mechanisms like deposit insurance and lender of last resort to try to avert those things. Those, those um, uh, protections, in turn, require some oversight to, to avoid the buildup of risk. May I interrupt, please? Certainly. Isn't that what creates the moral hazard, though? Isn't that the problem rather than the solution? Well, we had um, the reason the Fed was created in 1913 was because uh, in 1907 and 1914 there were big financial panics and there was no regulation there and people thought that was a big problem but back the, in the 19th century as well. 
but they usually lasted about a year. And now we're de determined to make our corrections last 10 and 15 years, and that's what we're working on right now. Any other answers, please? Uh, I, not on this round, because the time has expired. Oh, Mr. Chairman, you're the tough. Gentlemen, we're holding everybody to five minutes <laughs> uniformly. Gentleman, Kansas. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 